Hello everyone, in this tutorial we'll see multithreading in Python. In all our previous scripts, we were running scripts sequentially. If you want to run this particular function on two devices, we have to run the same function two times. And script will wait for this to complete and then continue with second device. I'll try running this script. So this will take more time. So script will be waiting for the first execution to be completed and then it will continue with the second device. Now we'll see how to run this parallelly using multi-threading. And if you notice network automation use cases, most of them are going to be IO related operations. Here we are executing a command and waiting for device to respond. So these are not processor intensive task. So we can use multi-threading for all these kind of use cases. There is another concept called multiprocessing and for processor intensive task, we can use multiprocessing. But I'll be using multithreading for this demonstration and I'll be showing two ways of doing multithreading. First is with threading module and another way is using concurrent futures. In this tutorial, we'll be focusing on threading module. And in the next tutorial, we'll see how to use concurrent futures. Concurrent futures is the newer method that can even switch to multiple processor instead of threads. And in multi-threading, each thread will be sharing the CPU time. So there will be a microsecond difference between each thread. Though it looks like parallel execution, it is not exactly running parallelly. We will see that difference also by printing timestamp of each execution. So let's start writing the script. To demonstrate that I'll put a function here. So this function will initiate a ping request to the host and here I'm adding the reply count as value. So using this value we can increase the delay of the response. And I'm using subprocess module for initiating ping. About subprocess, we'll see later in detail what is subprocess and how we can use. And we can use subprocess for executing terminal commands in operating system. And here I'm importing subprocess and executing this particular command. So we can run this command manually from the terminal and ping hyphen C. And here I'm giving the reply count as five. So that time. I'll be getting five responses from the destination host. So using this, we can control the delay. And now if you want to run this on a particular host, I'll put a dictionary here. H1. And if you want to run on this particular device, we can do ping test and I'll pass this as a keyword argument. I'll give h1 and so it is starting the ping request and you can see the timestamp and the host is reachable. And using try and accept we are doing the ping and whenever device is not reachable, we'll get an exception from this subprocess dot called process error. So I'm just handling in that way and we'll give a not reachable device. I'll give 100 here. And I'll give H2 for this device. And 100 is not reachable and we are able to see that also here and we'll add the time required for script execution to get that we'll put a start time and in the end we'll see how long it took to complete the execution so i'll paste end time and here we will print the time taken to complete this 
script execution. So let us run this script. So this has taken four seconds to complete the entire execution. Now we'll see how to run this on list of devices. I'll paste the list of devices and I'll comment some of those and so that we can save some time. And we can do a for loop here for host in host and then we can run this particular function ping test and we can pass host here I'll comment our previous ping and this time this will be doing ping to 1 and 2 So now also this is getting executed sequentially you can see it started for one and this has taken eight seconds to complete now we'll see how to do multi-threading using threading module for that first i'll import threading here first we'll write a thread for single IP I'll create a variable here th1 equal to threading dot thread and here if you see the documentation so we need to give the target target is going to be a callable object that will invoke by run so we need to give the function name here in place of target so I'll give our function name ping test and we need to give only the name we don't have to call the function we just need to give the name and then here we are going to pass keyword argument because here in this function we are passing the arguments directly so can pass this as a dictionary And here first we will manually pass one particular dictionary so we'll pass the zeroth element that means this particular IP and we'll try printing th1 and we'll try printing type of th1 and dir so let us run this so it is so it is saying it is initial so it is started and it is a threading dot thread object and this is having multiple methods so you can see a start and join method first we need to start this particular thread so what we can do is we'll try to start the thread th1 dot start and then th1 dot join if you see the documentation of start and join so this will start the threads activity and if you give join this will wait for this particular thread to finish so let us try running this so now this has taken one second but we have given only for one IP so let us create one more thread here I'll call this th2 and we'll run on host1 this particular IP We'll give th2 dot start next step we will see how to do this using for loop now we are just seeing how to do this manually so let us run this 
here now you can see both are starting almost same time and this is starting at 422 184 and this is starting 422 377 there is a microsecond difference between these two tasks and you can see here the time taken is only one seconds for both ping to complete now we'll see how to do this using a for loop and first uh, we'll create a list here ping host threads equal to an empty list then we will iterate through each host here for host in host and ping thread equal to the same method threading dot thread and target is going to be the function name ping test here our keyword argument is going to be host because we are doing a for loop here so I'll give host here then we need to do the start so ping thread dot start and then we need to append this to this particular list ping host threads dot append and we'll append this ping thread and in the end once it is completed we'll do the join so for thread in ping host threads thread dot join now we'll comment all this and now this will be executing on 10 devices parallelly so we'll try running this script And here you can see it is starting parallelly for all the 10 devices and there is only microsecond difference between each task and it took only three seconds to complete entire execution and we can increase even time of some of these hosts So if we try running this, so this also will get executed parallelly. So this has taken total 14 seconds because this was waiting for some of these ping to get completed. Later we'll see a real time example of how to execute Cisco commands using this threading module. In the next tutorial we'll see how to use concurrent features for executing same function.